Hi, this is the United Trail Proof Hotline. My name is Eustace, and you're on a recorded line. Can I ask who I'm speaking with? Um, uh, Deagle. Okay, Deagle. Can I get your last name? Um, uh, no? Uh, uh, okay, then. Deagle, is, is this number good to call you back at, if, in case we get disconnected? Y yeah. Okay, Deagle. And what brings you to call the prayer hotline tonight? <laughs> um, I had a bad day at work. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Deagle. Well, I, I just want you to know that I I've been there, and you should know that Jesus loves you, and he hears you hurting right now. Um, I think he's happy that you decided to call and pray about it. Look, had a bad day at work, at Walmart. Everyone thinks I'm a creep. These assholes I thought were my friends, they they took my phone and they saw a bunch of stuff on it and they showed it to everyone and everyone told me I should leave and they didn't want me there and even this girl I thought liked me looked me in the eyes and told me she wished people like me weren't alive. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Deagle. Um, what was on your phone? It wasn't even stuff on my phone. It's just stuff I follow on Twitter, and it's it's my private stuff. You can't even see anything in the drawings. Oh, okay. What was what was it again, Deagle? What was on? What did they see on your phone? It's just drawings. It's literally just drawings. And now everyone wishes I was gone, and they all told me how everyone hates me, and they threw stuff at me, and they told me to never come back. <laughs> Maybe they're right. I'm on the train tracks right now. I just want to walk down them and never come back. Lay my head on them and never wake up. Oh, uh, all right, Deagle. Well, um, I'm so sorry about all that. Um, wh what was on your phone? What exactly was on your phone? It's drawings. Drawings of what? Like, <laughs> kimono, um, <sighs> it's, I follow artists that do, like, kimono style um and like lollafell fan art I don't, okay i don't i don't know what any of that means deagle it just just forget it then okay um let's um that's fine let's let's go ahead and pray deagle uh dear heavenly father we thank you for this privilege of prayer um god without you we would be so lost and we know that no amount of praise will ever be enough to thank you for the love and guidance you provide even so lord we we continue to sing your praises daily as we should um, but also, I come to you this evening with Deagle um, in his work trouble. Lord, I, I pray tonight that you set Deagle on the right path. Um, I want you to show him that life isn't hopeless, even at times like this, when it seems everything's lost. Lord, I pray that you um, that you surround poor Deagle with your love, and you show him that your power can help him make his way to newer, maybe even better career opportunities. And also, Lord, I pray that you help keep Deagle away from any um, temptations or lifestyles that might lend themselves to a, a dark, dangerous road in the future. Help him see uh, this moment tonight as a warning to keep that side of his life in balance uh, and to continue to walk in your light. Thank you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. A amen. Thank you. How do you feel, uh, Deagle? <laughs> I feel better. That's good. Deagle, are, are you familiar with John 1-9? <laughs> no. Well, it basically says that we need to admit that there's a problem to fix that problem. If God sees that you admit your sins, you can start on that road to forgiveness and walking on the right path. Um, that's just something I want you to take home with you today. If you, if you remember anything from tonight, remember John... Thank you. I know what I need to do now. John 1-9. John 1-9. And that's great to hear. Um, what... Um... <laughs>